There has been a ton of speculation over the relationship status of Grace Van Patten and Jackson White, the stars of Tell Me Lies. You hate him in the show. Really, really hate him in the show. But in real life, they seem like a lot of fun. They uh, definitely are dating. I think we can, like, erase the question marks. I know they have been all over right now because it's like, oh, they confirmed their relationship because they were at the, I think they went to the CFDAs and they were holding hands. It was like, oh, they're holding hands, confirming they're dating. But it's been months, it feels like, that they have been dating or casually dating. Maybe now it's getting more serious, but these two very much like each other. I know he went on um, Not Skinny But Not Fat's podcast and was like, why, she's why can't we get him on the podcast <laughs> i don't know if we tried well i'd like to try to get him on yeah and he um and just smoke cigarettes with him yeah in this room <laughs> he he was like Can i'm a, an episode he talked about being he talked about smoke. being obsessed with her and like it was like oh this guy like is in love yeah they're very cute they're very fun. cute they're they're like a hot couple on social media like yeah. their tongues out and stuff i think that's cool yeah, he um, he posted a picture. It's like their their tongues are like touching. He's like, if we if we kiss, do we get a s- second season? Maybe he made the caption. Maybe tell me lies, and Hulu is like, all right, you guys should go oh, official yeah. because that's we a wanna sad thought. Am- we want to amp up. No, I think they are dating, and I yeah, think yeah. that they like each other, love each other. Yeah, but I think that maybe they're like, let's amp it up so that we can get a second season rolling. And Hulu will approve the second season. Like, let's let's see how much this makes waves, because then we'll know. He do we go has, ahead? He only has like sixty thousand Instagram followers, and she only has like a hundred thousand. That's wild. It to is me. wild. I feel like so many people are watching that show. Well, maybe that's why they're like, let's put the relationship she's, out there. She's not very active on social media. They've been a little bit more active. They have recently, definitely been more active, which is why I'm thinking maybe they're trying to get that approval from Hulu. I'm gonna shoot him a follow. I followed us 40 people. I followed Grace this morning. I followed Grace right when I watched the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> Down <there. laughs> If we ki- Yeah, he wrote, if we kiss, can we get a season two at Hulu? So that's why I think maybe there's some... But also, I do think that they love each other and they're, they've they yeah. been dating for, I think, a while that this has been going on. I know. There's been Dumas sightings and of them. Like They're like, oh, I see Jackson and Grace from Tell Me Lies like out and they, they're, they're canoodling. <laughs> Right, and people for so long were like, "But are they dating?" And it's like, I, I think, I think we can go ahead and confirm it at this point. They're yeah. dating. Grace was also, she did an E News thing. I think it might have been the rundown. I'm not exactly sure. With Aaron, and she said, "You know, I have a major crush on him." Like, you know, like they they were saying all the things that were mm-hmm. like, "Yeah, they're dating." So I'm happy for them. I like them together. I think they're a cool couple. I know I do too, and it's like a nice contrast. You're like, oh, good acting, you know? They got great, they have great chemistry on the show, but they're so, like, toxic on right. the show that it's, like, it's nice to see them interact in real life. Because right. their chemistry is obviously still there. Right, so but I think not as toxic. That they had to do so much, so many sex scenes in the show yeah. that were so hot and heavy that they were probably like, fuck, we gotta see what this is like in real life. Because there's like, so much going on that they're like, we got to test this out. I think it's bound to happen when young people are on a show together, especially if they're both single and they're like, yeah, you got to at least give it a try. Right. And they're at like, so, like the sexual chemistry yeah. on the show is crazy. So they're like I said, they probably were like, we got to go home and test this out. Yep. And and it looks like looks it works. like it's going well. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's exactly. I'm happy with them. They're a beautiful couple. They, they yeah. look very good together. When they're not Lucy and Steven. Because, mm-hmm. like, he, in real life, he's, like, I don't know. He's, he's just, got a cool vibe. He has a very cool vibe. And his mom's cool. Yeah. His mom is very cool. Did you watch, uh, shit, the show she was the mom on the. Sons of Anarchy. No, yes, yes, but Tell Me Lies. She, she's always the bad mom. Sons of Anarchy, Tell Me Lies. She's also the mom in Dead to Me. In Dead to Me? She plays Linda Cardellini's mom that's in jail. Oh, I forgot about that. She's always playing the mom that's like, you know, yeah. she's just always playing a mom that is. Yes. Oh, Eight Simple Rules. No, Eight I... Simple Rules is what I was thinking of. 
No. No, you didn't ever watch Eight Simple Rules with um Kaylee Cuoco? Nope. That was a good show. And what kind of mom was she in that show? I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily say she was like a bad mom. Un- unhinged mom? Yeah, I uh, a, a, a little, but not like not crazy. Did you watch Sons of Anarchy? No. Now, Charlie Hunnam. Yeah. Has he ever been sexiest? No. People no. sexiest man alive? No, he's that's another good choice though. <laughs> so we, never forget he was supposed to play the Christian Gray, Gray and yeah. he didn't want to be like ty- he didn't he didn't know if he could live up to it. Yeah. And let me tell you, I think he would have been better. I don't know. He didn't he didn't do it. Yeah. But. I've I've been I weirdly I'm like on uh I get a lot of vampire diaries TikToks. Mm. And I always see people saying like Ian Summerholder would have been oh, so good. At he would have like, been yeah, he so really good. Been so good. He does have major Christian Grey vibes. Right. I guess, so I guess when you think about it, like when you see Charlie Hunnam as Jax Teller, that doesn't give me Christian Grey vibes. Yeah. But Charlie Hunnam is so good looking that he you're is like an actor. He, he, he right. Could, but yeah, could get Ian, into it. Ian would have been really good. He would have. Um, but yes, that's a, another young. Couple and they're going to all the events. Like they're at fashion shows together. They're being dressed by designers. Like they're definitely their teams are pushing their profiles. Yes, for sure. They're like, let's get this out there. Yeah, definitely. we need Hulu to approve the second yeah, season. Yeah, we need a second season. <laughs> 